Well, g'day folks. That was a bit of a slow start. I'm going to do a couple of things today, but one of them won't be ready for three weeks. This, a friend of mine, last week, I was going to have this last week, but with it being Father's Day, we had to, we, we'd already booked a table to go out for dinner. So I'm having it today. It's, uh, she gave me four whacking great, uh, Hoggart chops, and I believe to slow cook them. Now it says to olive oil them both sides, and you put uh, rosemary, thyme, salt, and pepper, and um, you cover both sides, and you can let it marinate for a couple of hours, which is what I'm about to do now. So, well, without further ado, we'll try there was a tablespoon of uh, rosemary a, a teaspoon of thyme a teaspoon of pepper half a teaspoon full of salt and a t uh, a, um, uh, a large spoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder. Now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm only going to try and use one hand here, uh, just to press that, press that in the chops and turn them over. They look pretty damn good chops. They're pretty big, but there's a there's don't forget there's bone in, and uh, I've already um, oiled both sides. So oh, just bear with me. There we go. Now I'll. My hands a bit of a wash. Yeah, so uh, I've, last time I had Hoggart was at my grand's, I think. Many, many, many years ago. I've never even seen it for sale, so I don't really know where they got this from. All as I know is uh, I remember, I've never cooked it myself. But I have, uh, I have tried it before, because my gran used to do it. And I think my mum's done it a few times when I was little. But a lot of these cuts you don't seem to see around anymore. It's like um, rabbit. I've been trying to get all the rabbits, and you can get them online, but they're about a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars for a rabbit. I think that's a, a little bit exorbitant myself. Well, there we go. I'm going to let that marinate now, and I've, I've for once in my life, I've followed. A recipe to the to the tea. I haven't changed it. So I'm just gonna try and get that back in the fridge. If not, it can stay in the oven. So I right now the other thing I'm gonna do, and I've just got to get the stuff together to do it. bought this from Grimmer Brothers the other day. What was that? $30.71. Now, it's going to be roast beef, but it's not going to be eaten traditionally as a roast beef. I'm going to do it, a, it's going to take three weeks of curing, and then I'm going to make some deli roast beef. Now I'm going to uh, um, 
packing a packet in in certain amounts. I don't know what amounts yet because I've got a, a proper slicer. I'll slice it first and get the right thickness. I don't want it. I want it thin, but I don't want it too thin, and I don't want it thick. Uh, and and we can use it then for dinners with gravy, roast beef, chips, and gravy. And Yorkshire pudding. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> but it's going to take a while. But what I've got to do now, I've got to, uh, I've got to take the fat off, make sure it's all right, and uh, and then from then on, uh, I've got to put some uh, herbs and spices on it. Some. They say smoked paprika, but I don't like smoked stuff, so I'm just going to put ordinary paprika in it. I like the paprika and uh, a few other things which I can't uh, remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. But I've got it written down somewhere. And uh, we'll see how we go with that. And uh, hopefully it turns out pretty damn good. Okay, folks, I'll bring you back with the lamb when it's uh, when we're ready and um, we'll, we'll see you in a bit well there it is uh, my beef I've cut the ends off made it square well oblong <laughs> and squared it all up and uh, that's got to go down now in the fridge for quite a while they say up to three weeks but I don't know whether it'll be in there that long it's looking a uh, pretty good piece of meat. I've got the um, all the herbs and spices on it. There was uh, rosemary, thyme, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and uh, there was no um, paprika. I didn't put that in it. Don't think it needs it. So. Uh, We'll see how we go with that, and uh, I've, I've, I've vacuum packed it in the bag now, so it can sit in the fridge downstairs in my garage, and I uh, hope I don't forget about it. I'll have to put it on the phone, and I'll look at it. I, I've got to turn it over every few days, so hopefully I can, uh, I'll remember it. So, anyway. That's it for now. I'll bring you back um, very shortly when I do the cooking for the uh, for the lamb hoggett. And we've got to have mashed potatoes. Uh, we've got to, I've got to roast some um, uh, pumpkin, sweet potato, and some carrots. And uh, I suppose I'm going to have to look at um, some green. Uh, we might even have snow peas or something like that. Oh, I've got some uh, baby beans, so I might do some of them. All right, catch you in a bit. Okay, here we go. We, we've got all that prepared. Now, this is what we're going to have with it. I'm going to do some mashed potatoes. This is what I get cranky about. Farmers putting that in. They want Farmers want you to support them, and then they, they rip us off by putting crap like that in the bags. I've used about eight or nine of them. I use them for rubbish. Sometimes I just chuck them out. And I'm gonna finish off the uh, sweet potato, a couple of carrots and pumpkin. Uh, now if you're a Queenslander, it's pumpkin, not pumpkin. So I have to say pumpkin because they won't understand me otherwise. <laughs> Only kidding. Sorry, Queensland. Anyhow, uh, they're going to be roasted. Uh, they're going to be mashed, and the veggies are going to be roasted. I'm going to put some green beans, some baby green beans. I've got some frozen ones there I want to get rid of. So, uh, and I like the frozen ones. They stay fresh, and there's a lot of goodness in them. Probably more goodness in them than uh, fresh ones, because fresh ones have been around for weeks these are snap frozen within hours of being picked 
So I like the frozen beans and the peas. Uh, they're, they're pretty good stuff. Okay, now what am I going to do? I'm going to turn you around there so you can see what I'm doing here. Excuse me while I switch the power on. Right, switch the uh, function. We've got to go into bake. Uh, now it says 150 for three hours. warm that up. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I've got to uh, put some tin foil I tried to use one of my uh, baking uh, dishes, but it's too big to uh, with the lids on. It's too big, too big to go in that little oven. I don't want to. I don't want to fire the. Uh, I don't want to fire the um, the big oven up just for. A little roll slice like this. Oh, I've got a basket. Oh, put another piece on, won't I? Put another piece on this side. Okay, okay. Now that's going in the oven. I'll check it. I'll, I'll check it pretty regularly um, for around three hours. Uh, I'll probably take the lid off for uh, the last thirty minutes or forty minutes. So. Um, all I've got to do now is prepare the veggies and Bob's your uncle. I'll bring you back when everything's cooking and then we might have a bit of a taste test, we'll see. So I'll bring you back in a, in a bit. Okay folks, tea's just about nearly ready. Just gonna mash the spuds. Get rid of that. Worst thing in the world for glue, like glue is potatoes sticking to your pan. You can't get it off if it's dry. Gotta wash it off straight away. Well, I do anyway. Right. Let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. Put the camera straight. Now, I want a bit of butter. <laughs> just a little bit, just another butter. Yeah, right, that's a not, yeah, that's just a little bit. Hey. My grand lived to a ripe old age, 
So did my great grandmother. She was over 100. Uh, my mum lived to 92. They all ate butter. I'm going to eat butter. No doubt about that. There's my beans done. My green beans. Can you see what I'm doing? I'll try not to stand in your way. It's a bit hard. See if we get a bit closer then. Then I can I must tell you now, I've got to be real careful. My son doesn't like lumpy spuds. Don't bother me. There's a few lumps in it, but he don't like it. So I've been told. He's a fussy block. But he never does any cooking. Not for me anyway. Right, there we go. That's a bit of, could do with a bit more butter in it, really. But, that's the way it is. Now, pinch of salt. Pinch of white pepper. Not using black pepper for this. Pinch of black pepper. They will complain if it's too hot because I like my pepper. I've always liked my pepper. I like the taste of the white pepper. Better than the black pepper to be honest. And it, apparently it's it's the same peppercorn. Just so I so I've read. How true that is, I don't know. But they reckon it's the same peppercorn, just at different stages of ripeness, I think. So, Sorry I keep going away, I should have got all this ready, shouldn't I, at the beginning. You can't have mashed potatoes without that. Not too much. Put that there. And we'll get the old spoon in. Sometimes I put cheese in it, but not tonight. We're having lamb, I'm going to have some mint sauce with me lamb. How's that for a bit? For a bit of mash. Mash bud. Put it up there. Turn you around. I think you can see what I'm doing here. Right, I'm going to make some gravy. I'm going to take that off there. Ooh, look at them. Have a go at them. Tell me they're not uh, tender. I've, I've not had ho hoggett since I was a kid and I can't remember whether I liked it or not but I remember having it
that on there and we'll put that on there start it straight the, the bottom of the barrel Normally, you would still got the bits of uh, rosemary and thyme in there. Normally, you would make the gravy and strain it. I ain't gonna do that. Right, there we go. In she goes. Wash that out. Your dinner's only as good as your gravy. That's what I reckon. Now turn that down a bit. Now my son's a funny bloke, like I said to you, he only likes gravy on his potatoes, doesn't like it on his meat or his veggies. So, work that one out. Bet there's a few of you out there saying, ah, neither do I either. <laughs> yeah, right. going just to keep that warm a bit put that over there uh, we'll move that out just a little bit because we've got something else coming out here now Ow. see every time I burn myself there's my veggies Right, now, there's my beans, baby beans, I'm going to dish this out and I'll bring you back for a taste test, looks alright doesn't it, have I done alright, I think I have haven't I, okay, I'll bring you back in a bit, okay, here we go, have a go at that, tell me that doesn't look no good, looks alright doesn't it, For a bit of a hack. Now, first of all, getting the spuds. Mm. Sweet potato. Mm. 
Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Bit of carrot. Bit of pumpkin. Now. See how good this meat is. I'm feeling it's going to be pretty damn good. Look at that. Well, what we'll do, we'll bring it up. Have a go at that, folks. Bit of hoggets. First in many, many years since I was a little wee nipper. Oh my God. Mm. Mint sauce. There you go. Forgot to put the mint sauce on. Now, I don't know whether it's an English trait or an Aussie trait, but the Aussies seem to like their mint sauce in jelly. I don't. I like it in vinegar. So, that's how I was brought up with it. And I've tried the jelly stuff. There's no taste to it. I buy this. Coleman's. And I can make it as thick and thin as I like. And I make it fairly thick like that. That's how I like it. All right, folks. Well, mm. we'll have another little piece of meat. It's just falling off, off the bone. Have a go at that. Brilliant. How clean the bones come out. I've got some left. Well, my son can take it to work tomorrow, some mashed potatoes. And some gravy if he wants it. If not, I'll have it for lunch tomorrow. That'll do for now. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, do the works. Like it. That gets it the word out to everyone else. Comment, share, and subscribe. Please. One of them, do the like. I'm happy with the like. If you want to like it and you enjoy it and you stay for the end, fantastic. I've had a few more this week. People uh, subscribe to my channel and I thank you very much. Whoever you are, I, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, as much as I enjoyed making it, um, I've been doing a lot of music videos just lately, uh, so I haven't been doing too much on here. Because uh, of copyright with YouTube, they're pretty strict on it. Oh, I did forget one thing. Me beans. Four minutes in the mic. That's all I took <laughs> from Frozen. All right, folks. Gonna love you and leave you. I can't wait to get into this. Hurry up, Dennis. <laughs> if you haven't already done it, check some of my other videos out. I've got about 170, 180 videos on on YouTube, so. Check them all out. I've got some music videos on there too, if you if you enjoy them. And I've got, I don't keep the channel to any specific topic, mainly cooking. But there's other things that I get interested in too that I think people out there like yourselves might might enjoy. Some of you do, some of you don't. Well, that's fair enough too because. That's, that's me all over. I go on other people's channels and if I don't like what I see or I'm not interested, doesn't mean to say I don't like the person or the, 
or what he's doing channel wise it means I'm not interested in that particular subject and sometimes even if I'm not into that particular subject I'll still have a look at his video and I will, I'll always put a like on it for him just to help him out you know or her <laughs> okay guys as I normally say is Tara well Tara for now <laughs>